Hi, I'm Laurie Bortner with the Community Mural Project. I'm the coordinator for the project and I'm working with five youth from Taos High School, very artistic youth, and we're creating a mural, a Tree of Life mural on the Taos County Economic Development Building between the Community Garden and the um, Taos Food Center. And the mural is about 600 square feet. It's very large. You can see it from the baseball fields in Taos. And everyone who passes by is very excited about it. It has um, a lot of symbolism in it, um, which hopefully captures what Taos is about agriculturally and maybe a little spiritually too. Okay, so this is Miguel. He's doing a lot of the detail work on the mural, and he's a um, very talented young artist and has a very good holistic vision. Well, Miguel, um, I know Miguel and Christina both are interested in art school, and Miguel is very, very detailed oriented, and um, he has a very, very good artistic vision. Yes, he's working, he's having shows, and um, yeah, he's having his portfolio reviewed by colleges, so he's really um, pursuing. <laughs> then Bettina um, got involved in art. She likes art. She's a little shy, but she's very talented, too. I think it runs in her family. I know her brother is uh, going to go to art school, and I know her parents, and that's why she's involved in this program. Um, and she's also interested in uh, working with children, so e being a creative person, I think, is a great asset, whatever you do with young people. Yeah. Josh, who enjoys doing detail and background work, is very interested in art, too. He, he's pursuing it. He's younger. Josh um, likes to do illustrative work. And I believe he's interested also in pursuing art school, but it's, you know, since he's just going into 10th grade, it's early, yet he's younger. Um, Josh and Bettina are both in 10th grade, and Jared and Christina and Miguel are in 11th grade. So they're not seniors yet, you know, they're still in the middle of their high school years. Yeah. Okay, and Christina um, is also working on her art and is having shows her, she and Miguel show together at times. And um, Christina is pursuing college and showing her portfolio also. Jared, who's... Um, come up through the ranks of starting doing background and now working detail. So they're all um, really contributing fully to the mural. It's not like one person did one thing, everyone's doing everything. <laughs> and Jared um, did the project just for a summer project, and I think it's grown on him creating, being artistic and he's really gained self-confidence and has moved up from just doing background work to doing some detail work too. I th um, that it would be great for them to maybe meet, work with other youth that they haven't known before and to learn more in art and also to have it as a summer work program because there's not that many summer jobs for youth here. And they get paid. Yeah, they yeah, they're getting stipends. Oh, so You're not starving artists. <laughs> no. <laughs> so um, we're doing two, capturing two birds with one stone or something like that. <laughs> Hitting two birds with one stone, I guess. Okay. I'd been working with youth um, for a while in Taos in different um, ways, and most recently I've been doing uh, murals with youth in some of the schools here with different classes. And I had an idea that it would be great to do a large mural with high school age youth for a summer work program. And um, 
I got a, a starter grant from a foundation and then uh, raised the rest of the money locally to do this project. So my background, I have a master's in fine arts and a master's in education, so I like to utilize both of them. And my, my primary focus is my art, but I really feel education is important in working with youth. So to me, this is integrating both of them and also um, I think Taos could use some uh, murals around and some artwork that's not just in galleries, you know, public art. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of public art for the people, that art's just available, that you don't have to buy it. Well, this, the mural itself is a month, but before that, I got the original grant in May. So since May, um, planning has occurred, approaching foundations has occurred, you know, going through the planning board and, and all of that has occurred. Who did the uh, basic layout? I did the basic layout so it could get through the planning board and then the youth added to it. So they took a 11 by 17 sheet of paper sketch uh -huh. and then transferred that to the wall. Yeah, we did so it. you did the pencil. Yeah, and they added to that, and then we did it to scale to the wall, and then we gridded it on the wall. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the video today is? Yeah, what you don't see in the video is um, hopefully going to be completed in a few days, and there is going to be some lettering. At the top of the whole mural, it's going to say Taos Food Center, and running down the left side is going to say community garden. The community gardens to the left of the mural and the food center is the door to the right of the mural. So they're very excited about people knowing where they are and having a beautiful mural welcome there.